plug wiring for dummies. This is going to be so easy. Just basically showing you the first step is you got to go out and buy a plug. It always helps. Now I'm just doing this in, right here on my desk. So basically I have the plug cover, the plug, an electric box, and the wire. First thing, if it was on the wall, you would push the wire through. And then on the back side, you're supposed to leave slack. So it stays in the wall now. I'm going to cut this open here and show you the steps that I use. Pretty much I slice this like this. Now be careful you're coming towards you like that. And peel that back. And I get rid of this stuff very first thing, you know. There's no point in just keeping it. Okay. Now, a lot of people, I'm going to show you both ways to peel a wire. Go like, like this. This is the old way. Okay. Now, this is this is one of several wire cutters out there on the market. So you just try to find the correct gauge and just pull it off like this. Now, the next step is before I even look at the plug is I bend all of these ends back like I say, I'm bending these back, and I know what I'm doing with these, so I've, this one's just a little bit too long. For me, I don't like them long. Nip it here. And now, if you look at the plug, there's a silver side, and there's a gold side. It's, it's elementary to stay with the white, I call that the silver side pretty much just try to get that thing in there. I made it too tight so I'm loosening up a little bit. It's beautiful. Now, I just tighten this up with a screwdriver. And in this case, I'm not going to be using the second screw on here. So, I'm going to I'm going to tighten it up. The reason is see when they're sticking out here a little bit now I'll show you in a second when they're all gone. If you have a metal box, all it has to do is just touch like that and it blows the dang fuse, you know, you don't need that. So like I say, just for safety, I'm gonna snug those in and I'm also gonna tape them in a second. Okay, and I'm using everything by hand here. That's, that's the one wire. And I do the same thing on the other side to bring it in here and try to hook it in here. And everybody's got a different style for these little tails here. A lot of people leave them much larger. I don't like to have the piece sticking there. Now, if you watch, I'm gonna mirror mine across so it's on the same terminal. You know, because I could put it on either one of those. And basically, I barely got it in there, get it to tighten up a little bit here. I love doing these by hand because you know exactly how snug you got it. Now I'm gonna get rid of this screw sticking out. Those, that was my two electrical wires. And now, you, you want to try to ground everything. So there's two ways to ground it. The old school way was simply to put it right here on this screw and ground it to the box. Just like that. Now that, that's a fine way to do it. But for us today, we have a ground screw. It's green. I'm just going to put it in here again. Tighten it up. Now, you see that pigtail sticking up like that? If they're long, you got to bring those together with your needle nose so you don't have that sticking out into the room. Actually, I tightened it before I did that, but I'm showing you again. Bring these together here. Still don't have it, but you've got to get this. You've got to get this. There you go. Look. Look now it's tight, and now I'm just going to tighten it up again with a real screwdriver. Now, just just for safety, we always wire first, and then we electric tape. You see, I'm going to get rid of that so it doesn't touch anything. And when you're coming around, look. See that screw? You don't want. You don't want. 
taped it down. You want to come around? I normally go around twice on the box. You don't, you know, I'm just turning it to show you. Normally, you just do it in one spot. That's starting my second round. And then, just pull it off. You know, I guess I should cut it, but I have really good tape. Here. Now, the last part is putting it in the box. You don't want to just put it in and have no slack here. What I normally do is I make an S inside my box. So later on, if somebody goes to pull it out, now watch, I'm going to hold this. They got a way to pull it out. You see how I have the box where you can see into the side of this box? So if you also notice, this is a nice deep box. And uh, I know my own hand's in the way. But if I was doing this with a power screwdriver, it would be pretty much done by now. So it only takes a second. It's nice to show you this without the wall being in the way because you can't actually see what I'm doing. Okay. So except that this isn't on the wall, I'm still going to put the cover on next. There you go. Nice and tight. It doesn't matter if the box is plastic like this one or steel and they have some weatherproof boxes. Basic wiring. This is basic wiring 101. This is the first thing you need to learn. Once you get this down, you're on the way to doing a lot more wiring. I got a I got this one. Look, the screws are already there. I can't lose them. How many times have you fumbled with the screw? And not been able to find it. I'm, I'm, I'm changing over to a flat screwdriver for this. And I know it sounds silly, but I try to make my screws when I'm done up and down or sideways all consistent. You can tell the difference between a professional and an amateur that way. But you don't want to strip a screw. Done! <laughs> okay.